high voices, nothing angry, nothing, nothing deep. It's got to be very exciting for him. Um, he's willing to follow me anywhere right now at this point. So this is where you want, this is a bond right here. This is the only positive bond that he's had with me. Everything else today has been negative because I have a leash in my hand, right? So he associated me with bad things. So what we've managed to teach him today is that one, this leash isn't bad. I can move it around and it's not gonna hurt him. He doesn't like it, it's a little freaked out. Good boy. I'm not hurting him in any way, shape, or form. But what I'm teaching him is that this isn't something bad. I don't care what I do with this. Come. Good. I'm also not using the leash to tell him where to go. I'm not dragging. Let's go. Because that's when he's going to brace and pull. And if you have a 150-pound dog bracing and pulling, I'm not strong enough. I can get there. <laughs> if I brace myself, I can get there. But um, it's easy with little dogs to abuse this leash. This leash should never, ever be used for obedience once the dog knows what to do. Your voice should be the leash. You telling them what to do should be this leash. This leash just prevents them from doing something stupid. That's it. Making other people feel confident that your dog is on public. You don't need this. Because what happens when the leash, when he gets out of the leash? Come. Good boy. That should be the only thing that he concerns himself with, not that the leash is down. It'll work the same way. Come. Eat it in half. It's a little much. Okay. Good boy.